Hi, my name's Andy. My name is Mumina. This is my story for National Housing Day. I think people make faces. You got involved as a volunteer with Regenda um, in May this year, didn't mm -hmm. you? As a Regenda Community Champion. Can you tell me a little bit about how you were and what your life was like before and what, what you like now? Well, before I um, volunteered, my life was actually really, really, really boring. All I did was wake up, feed my daughter, sit down, watch TV, not do anything, feel sad about my life, thinking, what am I going to do for my daughter? What am I going to do in the future? I was born in 1967 in Preston in Lancashire, and in 1972, my father uh, moved to South Africa uh, for work reasons. I then moved back to the UK in around about 1995, uh, I met a young lady, we had a child together. Unfortunately, um, the relationship didn't last and I found myself in a bedsit uh, with loads of stairs and things like that. And as you can tell, I'm a wheelchair user. Uh, so I quickly had to uh, make arrangements to move to somewhere else. And that is where our housing association has stepped in. I was actually really shy. I had no confidence at, at all. And since I've become a volunteer, my life has changed. I feel a lot more confident now. I can go out and do things that I could never do before. And um, yeah, I'm just doing a lot of things that I thought I would never do before. Like, I'm going to college now. And um, I try my best to help the residents with their problems. And so. I've now lived in this property for approximately nine years. And it's probably the best thing I've ever done because the housing association that I'm with have uh, made provisions for my wheelchair, like uh, ramps and widening the doors and all things like that. And uh, as to say thank you, uh, what I do now is I do radio uh, for the community, uh, for hospital and also for just general community. Just to say thank you and just to put a little bit back into, into society. You're doing a, a training course yeah. in college, aren't you? I see you do. Um, I was in education and training, so it's to do with teaching. Right, so would you be teaching once you finish? Um, hopefully, either teach people that don't know how to speak English or work with children. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I'm really pleased that you're on the best now. I am, I am too, actually. I'm proud of myself. It's been really great working with you, and we are very, very proud of you. You've done that exceptional. I'd like to take this opportunity to, to thank the Housing Association because without them, I don't know where I would have been. And that's basically my story. Thank you.